Okay, here with head women's triathlon coach Kinsey Madison. Kinsey, uh, this week you guys hit the road for a big triathlon all the way in Missouri. Um, I believe it's called the NCAA Heartland Triathlon Cup. Um, talk about what's been going into your training and just like what this means for the team going all the way back to Missouri to compete in this triathlon and uh, just what, what that's going to look like for you as a coach as well. Yes, this is a big weekend coming up for us. This is our, actually our regional championship. So in collegiate triathlon, there are two different regional championships that are happening this weekend, the East Regional and the West Regional. And our results from this race is how we qualify and rank going into nationals. Um, so this is you know, the second biggest event for us of the season. Um, this weekend, we will be racing against 12 other schools, so 13 total, um, in two separate heats. And so we're actually going to be in the, the slower of these two heats, which I think will be a good thing for our team. Um, we're in the most competitive region. Um, the East may argue that, but we are in the most competitive region. We have all of the, the top Division One teams are in our, our region, um, ASU, University of Arizona, TCU, um, very big and powerful Division I schools. And so for for our team to be competing um, in in the other heat that does not have those schools in it will, will be a good experience for them. They'll actually be racing at the front of the race rather than um, what we experienced a couple weekends ago when we saw some of these more competitive Division I teams. Um, and I think that will be a big confidence boost for them and a, a good opportunity for them to really get with a pack and actually draft in the bike, which, mm -hmm. which they didn't get to do a lot of last race. Um, you said last week that you're looking to be uh, in seventh. You're kind of seeing that you'll be seven out of 13th, which is a step up almost five places from last year. So with the addition of another school. So just like what goes into that? What goes into you guys being higher up than last year, um, especially with this younger team, and just kind of like touching on that? Was yeah, seventh or sixth that you were trying to do. You're trying to. Be s I think that there there is a possibility that we could be sixth at nationals. Okay. Um, that was definitely my thought coming into the season, as I thought that's where we could be. We we've talked before about um, we did we did um, lose our captain to an injury, which was a big loss for us athletically and our, our leadership wise um, hopefully she can be back for our national championship um, but with with her out I think seventh is a more realistic place for us that's what we're going into our regional championship ranked like based on our early season rankings we are the seventh among the division two teams out of 13 so yeah big step up from last year that's mainly um, because we have more people that last year we were 12th out of 12 teams at nationals because we had one finisher. And so um, you're allowed to score up to five people. So it's hard to be, you know, really competing with some of those teams if you don't even have a full scoring squad. So we have that full team this year. Um, and that's made a huge difference, not just in our placement at races and our ranking going into our regional championship, but the practice environment as well. They're um, just really positive. They like feed off of each other and it's like everyone wants each other to improve and get better. And um, yeah, it's just been a really good experience so far this season. And then, so top five finish, but how many are you taking to Missouri? And is it similar to the group that you took last, a um, couple weeks ago to South Dakota? Um, so five of the people that we're going to take six this weekend and five of the six raced in South Dakota two weeks ago. Um, we have someone that we're going to sit out this race, but we'll have the addition of Mariska Kessler, who is also a cross country runner. So she did not come to South Dakota with us because she was racing for cross country. Um, so we'll get her back this weekend. And um, yeah, so racing with six again, which is a, a good spot to be in. Hopefully we can have a full team of seven um, at nationals we can have seven racing five it's it's very similar to cross-country running where we have five that can score and then our sixth and seventh place person can displace and so my hope is that we can take a full seven with us to nationals perfect um good luck this weekend in missouri and hopefully we 
talk to you next week with uh, good results and good rankings heading into nationals. Thank so you. good luck this weekend. Hopefully we have good news to share. <laughs>